Hey everybody, welcome back to some more of Vorian. Today we are going to uh, build a ship. And I started in a new galaxy. And, you know, I have kind of an idea of a purpose behind a ship. So this is, I'm still my drone. We're going to start building our first ship. The uh, the main goal about the sh around the ship is it's going to be a mining ship. But I want it to be fast to move between... Uh, asteroids. I don't know of any threats that I have to worry about yet, so I'm not really uh, concerned about defense and things like that. But uh, yeah, let's get to designing a purpose-built ship here. So uh, we'll just call this the Miner, because I'm very creative when it comes to naming. Alright. Building mode. Okay, so we kind of covered some of this in the other videos, but, you know, this is kind of where you start off. Uh, there are some requirements up here that you need to take care of. There are some pre-made kind of modules that you can kind of build in. So if we go like this, like that. So we can uh, do a pre-made module. If we want, if we so choose to do it that way, that uh, helps save time. But I don't really want to do that. Uh oh. <laughs> so you can, you. Can, I didn't realize you could finish as a block. All right. Go back to building mode. So one important thing to note is, since I want this to be fast, we're going to make use of these iron frameworks. So iron frameworks are lighter. Um. So if you mouse over, if we uh, mouse over here, low cost, low durability, low mass. So that lets you make kind of bigger ships. So let's uh, do some frameworks. Very nice. Very nice. Put a couple more frameworks here. All right, then we'll put a whole a whole node at the end here. Okay, so let's put some engines in now. Engine. All right, so we got four engines there. Let's put ones here. So we got plenty of en we got some good engines there. We need thrusters, though, as well, so I want to place some of them. Put one right here. Put a thruster module here. Thruster module here. Let's put one below. Put them below as well. Um, that is not where I want it. I don't like that, so we'll delete. Okay. Great. So we have thrust. We have engines. Since this is going to be a miner, let's uh, put some cargo bays. Let's see. Where are the cargo? Put a cargo bay here. Here. We will kind of surround this with cargo bays. All right, that looks cool. How much cargo? 2.2. I think that's enough. Um, hopefully, I don't run out of materials here. We will also need to put our mining lasers out. And we'll need crew quarters. So let's put a crew quarters right here. Available crew. All right, so that'll be fine for now. We got one crew quarters. And now we'll kind of... I'm kind of building this like this for aesthetic reasons, too. I mean, there's, there's really not... No reason for this, but 
Okay, so we will need uh, to put our mining lasers down somewhere. So let's kind of build this. The, that'll be the front of the ship. Let's go get our mining lasers. Mining turret. All right, so we have two mining turrets down. Um, we'll need more. We're some require. We have some required miners that we're gonna need. And that's fine. Let's add a couple crew quarters here. Okay, that's good. So far, so good. This is our our nice looking ship. Generated energy is five hundred megawatts. Uh, required energy 63.5 so we may not need too much in the way of of more solar panels let's see do we need the inertial dampeners let's see Low durability, high energy consumption, reduces drifting, small collision damage reduction. Um, kind of need this, I think. It's expensive, though. Uh, let's see. Do I really want this? It's going to take up 150. I, I don't need that. So we'll need to add, hire some miners. But, you know, otherwise the stats are all pretty good. Um, yeah, let's take this out for a spin. Ooh, look at this thing. That we can do control to look around at it. Let's go look at this mining. Oh, I think I made a mistake. <laughs> Oh, I need the crew. All right, so if we go to P for mining ship, then crew. All right, so now I have crew, full crew. So I should be able to do some mining. So let's go take a look. Let's do a quick little mining. Oh, no. Stop, 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 stop. Wow, this thing did not stop. <laughs> we have to work on that, but we can mine. We have our, our mining going on. We got some titanium. This is a cool looking ship. I like it. Let's take a look at it. We can improve it as we go along, but you know it's got uh, just two mining turrets. A bunch of cargo bays. It should hold 2.2 thousand of something. I don't quite know the units yet. But if we look at the inventory here, I have 202 iron. And there's my ship. You can rename it. I have a reconstruction token. I can't. I need to put turrets on it to. Uh, to get these on there so we'll explore that later so yeah there is actually i want to see something real quick building uh resource management my materials titanium so we got titanium better energy properties energy gen energy generators batteries and integrity field generators can be used to make titanium so let's let's see if what that looks like real quick here they, okay so now we have titanium options but we only have one titanium so we can't do much with it and uh, maybe next maybe uh, in another video we'll look at using these other materials to make our ship look cooler so you can you can do a lot of stuff there but you know that about covers it for this video of basics of making a cool looking ship i love the iron frameworks because you know when i think of space i like the babylon 5 uh their view of space ships 
the, at least the Earth Alliance side of it. And some of the other races are pretty cool. But I, I really like the kind of Iron Framework method. But, you know, it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.